My name is Norman Hooks. I am uh, currently without degrees. I never really knew what I wanted to do. I thought I wanted to draw. I thought I wanted, I, I had a love for comics. My father used to draw, I wanted to do that. I realized I didn't want to in high school uh, because I was told to draw apples and oranges and trees and that just didn't fly with me. So I was a little bit rebellious. I would draw other things around the apple, oranges and trees and actually got kicked out of art class. So. I didn't really take too well to that. Um, I played football and basketball um, in AAU. And then uh, after high school, I never had anyone tell me to attend college or to go to college. I felt like college was pretty much bullshit. And then the people that did tell me to go to college, it was more or less for the females and the parties. So. I was on campuses and I did other things, but the college experience I do have was in my adult life after 21, as opposed to directly after uh, high school. Um, I did, however, take graphic imaging in high school as an elective all four years, um, three hour course. And um, I only did that because back when I was growing up, I used to listen to uh, rap music, real heavy. and. Uh, Master P was a strong influence back then during my high school years and uh, the cover arts for his mixtapes and CDs were just crazy so I wanted to do that and I don't know why. So shortly after I also did music and jumped into uh, making other graphics. I worked for a magazine just by running into a guy in a print shop. Then created my own magazine had my own business and pretty much studied things on my own. Did a lot of online research because nowadays with our, the internet, you can figure out anything. So I then went on to uh, meet Jonathan uh, through a mutual friend at the time. And uh, we kind of clicked on a creative uh, standpoint. And he showed me a couple things. I was already uh, doing a little bit of photography. I had bought my own camera uh, during the time I had the mag that had the magazine that I started. And uh, I kind of like jumped into doing video work with him, uh, shooting short films and music videos. And uh, that's where I'm at today. Uh, I said no experience. Everything I've known has come from that man and uh, YouTube, pretty much. So, uh, what I hear nowadays is that uh, people that go to college really don't get the whole, you know, like really, really in-depth feel of being in college for a certain reason, because after they get out, it's really kind of like for no reason. And I'm, I'm a person who likes to skip the middleman, uh, get to the, straight to the point, skip the bullshit. So, um, I'm actually kind of glad I didn't really go that far into debt with uh, my college career, but I do still have some, uh, you know, student loans out there and uh, stuff to pay on. So um, I didn't get all the way uh, far from it, but had I known what I know now, I probably would have never attended college. It used to be something to do back in, uh, you know, from 80s, 90s, you know, it's something like major, go to college. Nowadays, you can grab your, your knowledge from off the internet. And if you have the thirst and the want to know and learn, then you can pretty much teach yourself anything nowadays. And I think that's what we need to install into our kids as opposed to telling them they have to go to college and then instilling them that they need to get good grades so they can get scholarships to go to college as opposed to paying for it because I think it's a big trick. It's a big way to get everybody out of their money and then no way to pay it back. You can't guarantee a job after getting a degree. Um, there's nowhere that says you automatically get signed up here and there's it's the market's it's too flooded with too many people having degrees. So, um, that's just my experience, and hopefully it can bring a little awareness and uh, start 
some conversation up with this uh, short film we did. Um, I had a pleasure working on it. It was a, it was a dope project. And, uh, you know, that's all I have to say.